Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my October favorites. I actually filmed this video last week, but it turned out completely out of focus. So I had to refilm it. I'm really sorry that last week I only uploaded four videos instead of five, but that's really the reason why, because it was totally out of focus. But anyway, here I am with all of my favorite things from last month, and I've got a few beauty favorites. Um, a book and a few other random things, so let's get started. So first of all, as always, I think I want to start from beauty. So the first thing I really love, and it's literally a holy grail product for me right now, is 100% pure long last concealer. And I'm in the color Golden Peach because even though in the foundation I will be Peach Bisque, in this particular concealer you need to get one color up, one shade up. And this color literally blends with my skin like nobody's business is absolutely perfect for me. The coverage is brilliant. It's not 100% covering, but it is good enough to still see the, the skin shine through. And I absolutely love it. I use it for both any kind of blemishes and also underneath the eyes. And it's just holy grail. By the way, if you're interested in my full review about this particular concealer, I'm going to make a video proper full review about it, I think next week, next Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. Next product I've really been loving is the Nubian Heritage Indian Hemp and Tamanu um, Growth and Strength and Treatment Mask. I think I showed this to you in a haul, an iHerb haul, a couple of months ago or three months ago, but since then I've been using it regularly and I've been enjoying it a lot and so I really want to share with you in this favorites video. And it says it's breakage prevention and stronger hair and that's exactly what I want because I don't have that much hair loss anymore but I do have some breakage so this is totally perfect for me because curly hair tends to be quite dry so it's also prone to hair breakage so this is exactly what I want. The smell is very gentle, it's not overpowering, it's really nourishing, you need very tiny amount of it so it's going to last quite a while. The ingredients are beautiful, it has so many beautiful oils and Nubian Heritage brand in general is just the best brand ever for natural skincare, so I highly recommend this mask. The last beauty product that I want to talk about is a new shampoo that I've been loving. So it's a real bargain because this whole huge shampoo was only around 11 euros I think and it's from a German brand called Sante, it's an organic skincare brand and hair care brand. And it's the gloss shampoo uh, with bio orange and cognate. I love it because it doesn't really foam, so it doesn't have any kind of sulfites or any other harsh chemicals. It doesn't dry out my, my hair. It smells really nice of oranges, which is something I love. And it's almost, it's 950 ml, so it's almost a litre or around a quart. And so it's going to last me for probably almost a year. It's also silicone free, cheap, great ingredients, great brand. So I highly recommend this and I think if you're in Europe it's going to be really easy to find it in your local health shops or in online stores. Possibly you can find it in the US too. Next thing I want to talk about is liquid chlorophyll. I mentioned it in a few videos already so I gave a hint of how much I love it. But I thought I'd mention it again formally because it's literally my biggest favorite of the last two months. So mine looks like this and it's from the Now Foods company. And this bottle is pretty big, so it's going to last me and my husband for around a month and a half, which is not bad. It tastes some mint, and I'm not a big fan of mint um, when it's cold. However, when I make tea with it, when it's actually hot, then I don't mind it, so that's what I do. And I just put a teaspoon of it in a cup of hot water, and I drink it like tea. And I absolutely love it. And liquid chlorophyll is great because of the chlorophyll itself but also because it's a source of copper. And copper is something that all of us need, but a lot of us don't get enough from food. And also a lot of us take additional zinc supplements. And when we take zinc, we actually deplete copper. So this is a great way to balance all that excess zinc from supplements, if you're taking any. And also chlorophyll helps to rebuild your ferritin levels, to replenish your iron levels. It helps your immune system, improves the digestion, clears your skin gets rid of any kind of bad body odor, like sweat odor or feet odor. And I find that this particular brand is the best value for money. There are better brands, much more natural, much more expensive brands, but unfortunately I can't, I don't have access to them here in Europe. So this is the best thing that I can get here and it works perfectly for me. And I got this particular one from iHerb because 
just has the best prices and I get everything from iHerb nowadays. It's just my favorite place to shop. The next thing I want to talk about is magnesium chloride. I showed this to you when I made the magnesium oil video. And so I used to use this one to make magnesium oil and to apply it on my skin topically. But lately I started using it orally as well. So I just, just dissolve some in water and I take it like that. And I find that that's one of the best forms of magnesium I've gotten for my body, also internally. It works so well. It totally got rid of any kind of backaches or muscle pains after workouts. I love it. It's definitely the most affordable way to consume extra magnesium and also the most um, the most effective one for me. So if you haven't tried it already, definitely try it out. It tastes kind of salty and bitter at the same time, kind of like seawater, but I don't mind it. I just feel that it's really doing good good things to my body and so I just... I don't mind it. The next thing I want to share with you is a website called Babbel.com and it's where I study Spanish. I've been using that website for around five or six years, I believe, and I've been studying Spanish all that time. And it's basically a website where you go to study any kind of language. You choose one language and then you get access to lots of different lessons, grammar, vocabulary, whatever and it's just the most fun and the most effective way to learn languages. And what I love so much about it but it teaches you through speaking, reading, writing, and hearing all at the same time. So it literally drills all the grammar and all those words into you. And it's super fun, I love it. So definitely check it out. I think it costs around 50 euros or $50 a year, which is not too bad for one language, unlimited access to one language. And if you compare it to how much you would pay for a private tutor or for classes, this is really a bargain and it's really, really, really effective. So definitely check it out. The next thing I wanted to talk about is a movie. I don't actually watch many movies, probably one movie a month or something like this. Um, but when I do find a movie that I really like, then I actually like sharing it with you. So this month we saw a movie called Boyhood and it's a movie about a boy growing up. Actually, a boy and a girl growing up, going through the teenage years, child years, going through parents' divorce, and all kinds of uh, traumas and issues in life. And I can relate to it so much. I mean, I'm not a boy, obviously, my experience as a girl would have been a little bit different. However, so many things were still so similar and I could totally relate to everything that boy was going through. So I think it was a great movie. It really portrayed growing up and going to the adulthood really, really well. So definitely recommend this movie. And my last favorite is the book called Eat Wheat by Dr. John Doolard. Doolard? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Please correct me if I did it wrong. But he's an amazing doctor who wrote this book about the importance of eating all the food groups, of not eliminating things, but rather focusing on strengthening and fixing our digestion. And that includes eating wheat or gluten and also dairy and everything else because in order to be healthy, ultimately, you need to be able to eat as variety diet as possible. So I highly recommend this book also because it's a sort of fusion between traditional Ayurveda and the most modern scientific research. And the book is huge, it's full of studies and I've never seen a book with so many references at the back. It's literally like half of the book is just references, so many studies. So if you are a science freak, you're going to love it because almost every single sentence in the book has proofs, you know, like has some kind of scientific research that is based on. So I guess these are all my October favorites. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you have any kind of products or things or experiences that you think I would really enjoy, leave them down in the comments and I will check them out. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.